don't want to be a slave to your routine or your life. Set your life up in a way that inspires you and supports you. Doesn't pressure you, limit you or stop you. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what am I talking about, right? What is this all about? So I've been really reflecting on it recently and it's become very apparent in my own way. I set up my my day-to-day, -day, my life, and I use things like planners and I take notes and do I do lists, you know, and I, I whoa, just blast stuff out on paper, you know, really reflect and journal and different things. But I found by putting too much pressure on and different morning routines and different different activities and different things you fit into your life, by putting too much pressure on them, you can make them negatively impact your life, right? And for example, with for me with the journaling and noting. Sometimes my lists, to-do lists, right? You can be a slave to your to-do list and then you feel pressure you've got to do it. And if you're someone like me, I tend to get a lot of ideas, a lot of things I want to do and then I put it on paper. And whether tomorrow or next week, whenever I do it, I put it down or even right now, I'm in the space I'm in, is right for that activity or doing the amount I've said. You flow each day, right? You're in different energies, you're feeling different things, you're creative, you're feeling inspired by different things, you're in a different mood, you're in a different place, right? Sometimes you feel social, sometimes you feel... So I feel like adaptability and flow is key. And I started to think about this kind of concept, so to speak, that using it to set up your life is powerful, but not then following it like it is leading. You lead the journal, it supports you. You lead the the process, the task, the routine, you don't become a slave to it. And a lot of us, I feel like, fail in a lot of ways, so to speak, to, to stick to certain habits, whether it be health, you know, exercise, diet, as a good example for a lot of us, and stick into routine, get enough tasks done, because we put too much pressure on it, and we start to slip up, and then it's a spiral from there. We feel like we're not doing very well and it just slips from there. We've got to build that momentum. We've got to build that way with ourselves, that d d d d discipline in ourselves naturally, not forcefully. None of us like being told what I do if you think about it, really, do we? And sometimes it's all about telling us what I do, okay, but I don't really feel it. And then you, you fight it enough and you just like stop then. You know, it's really important to think about this. For me, it's been really powerful to kind of think about it like, like I just said. It supports you. It doesn't control you. Sometimes I felt like pressure. Oh, I haven't ticked this off. I haven't done that. And not just the tick off, because it wasn't an important task to me. And I feel like, oh, am I, you know, you're not disciplined or you're not productive. You're going to fall behind as well. There's that trap, which I'll talk about again, because that's a big topic. But there's lots of these different things and different reasons why. And we're kind of stepping away to feel like we want to achieve. And if you're a treatment driven person in a lot of ways, which I have been heavily, um, I found a better balance with it because I, I still am in a sense, but it's not focused on that. I'll explain more about that again. But for now, I just want to focus on this. It's vital. Above all else, I honour myself. Honour the energy I'm in. Honour what I'm feeling, right? Honour what I'm feeling. Honour what I want to do in that moment. And there are times where sometimes you need to kind of maybe sway yourself and push yourself a little bit more with certain tasks that do have a deadline and it's a very important to meet that, yes. But I find it better then to make sure generally, if you do have time, you're always structured ahead. So if you do not feel like doing it that moment, it doesn't feel right, you're not in the right space, you have more time to delay it. So I think that's, that's really important. And also, if that's not the case, let it flow. Let it flow. And especially in terms of, this is what I'm really focused on, is creative pursuits. And I'm doing a lot of that right now. I'm a creative person. And for example, with the video creating, if I don't feel like doing a video, why would I force myself to do it? I'm going to do it worse. I'm going to not feel so good. And I feel like I'm pressured. Either I'm going to kind of put it off and delay and then I'm going to feel bad about it. Or I'm going to force myself to do it and not really enjoy the process and not give my best, not deliver. And I need to share from my heart, my soul. So it's not really gonna work. So with those kind of things, if you're that kind of person like me, it's really important to set it up. And that kind of person as well, I don't feel the same, <laughs> but also for me that, and I feel that comes with a lot of people like that in a way, if you're very creative and you like great stuff, then also usually got lots of ideas, right? And they all come in and they, they don't always come when it's perhaps most convenient, so to speak. But they keep coming in and it could be too much. So I find I have to, I pay my ideas out on kind of content I want to do, kind of activities, kind of projects and different ways I'm going to move things forward and different ideas that come up all around everything to do with this or anything in my life really. And I like to write it down because that takes away that you have to worry about remembering it, so to speak. So it's less pressure and more freedom to flow because you get, it's easy to get overwhelmed and 
that can lead to just stopping or not or producing stuff that's not as good as it could be or that just doesn't make the impact you want it to you know that's really important. so i let it inspire me bring ideas to me keep keep me on track with what is important to me what is important to me let's make changes then just adjust that and be conscious of that it keeps me conscious keeps me aware keeps me clear keeps me focused and then i can just feel like things out and let things flow naturally within that and that makes it perfectly balanced for loving what i'm doing right now giving the best of what i'm doing right now and to who i am right now and honoring that whilst creating big and wonderful things for the future enjoying the journey building for the future and that just works really well. So I think it's important not to get attached to it because for me personally, sometimes it's felt like, oh, I've got to do this. And then you can kind of go away from it. Sometimes I do quite well. And then I'm like, oh, it's just always trying to take things off. You feel sometimes like you're falling behind or there's just always so much to do. And it can feel like you get up in the morning and you're like, oh, I've got so many activities to do. And then you jump in from one to the next and you're not really in that one because you think about the next one. So I just embrace whichever one's right. And if one takes longer or one gets moved to a different day, or I just, you know, even just have chill time, whatever feels right, honor my energy so I can be at my best and enjoy my life as best I can. And that just makes so much sense to me. And I think that's what's important. Do not be a slave to your routine. Do not be a slave to your to-do list. Set yourself free. Let it help you, support you, guide you, keep you on track, but don't let it limit you. That's what works for me anyway, guys. So maybe that helped for you. If it did, wonderful. I find if you've really got lots going on and you're a creative type of person, it really does help to have that mindset with it. You don't want to be slave down with things. And freedom is a high value of mine, right? And doing honoring myself and doing what's right for me. So it makes it makes sense. And um, it's only recently that I really set it up in a way and, in, in, and thought about it in a really empowering way that has made it like, oh, this is my best friend and I don't need to put pressure on it. And it's like, generally I do more than I set out to do anyway, which is amazing actually, because before I put too much more pressure on it and I would generally do less and not feel so great about it but now I feel great about it because I just honor my process and with all areas of my life this isn't just about this right this is about embracing the process and really loving life so I'm going to leave you on that take care my friends and that is all for today from me and Jesse. say hello to Jesse. <laughs> she's out just being herself so yeah live true to you guys and be the best versions of yourself but don't be hard on yourself honor yourself Live true. Until next time. Watch out, Jess. Come here, get a stick. Ready?